So, I recently finished watching the Penny Dreadful finale. And for the first time in this show's run, I'm actually disappointed. I'm... To say I'm frustrated or disappointed actually is a severe understatement, considering this has become my favorite show of all time. Incredible actors, incredible storylines, amazing depth of character. I mean, I would say that, oh, maybe, maybe this whole season's just been crap. I can consider, like, maybe just the first two seasons, but no, this, this season, even though it's felt a bit rushed at times, and really a whirlwind, it's still been good. And the episode A Blade of Grass is probably by far one of the best episodes and ever in like TV history. It is incredible. But to end the show like that <sighs> What? You left so much open and not in a good way. It's one thing to leave things open if it's a show meant for that. And be like, oh yeah, you know, these people go off and live their lives and it's whatever you imagine it to be, but it's... There are so many stories to tell in the Penny Dreadful universe. There are so many stories like that. You could still do so much more with these characters. These characters are so fun together. When you see them all interacting together in the finale, you remember why it's so awesome to see these characters together. And that's why I think this season was also the weakest, is because the fact that they were all separated. And yes, they needed to have their own separate stories and stuff like that. But when they came together, working together is when they're strongest, is when their stories are the best. But to end it like that? Really? Like, again, I have no problem if the show wants to stick to the fact of killing off a major character, like the main character of the show. If you want to keep it like that, that's fine, but there's still so much more that can be done with this show. I mean, like, but even still, I mean, Sir Malcolm did bring up the whole fact of resurrection and reincarnation and stuff like that. It's just... Is Jekyll and Hyde, whenever we're going to see that officially, it's like, oh, I'm an aristocrat now. That's it. That's the whole story. What? And then there's the whole fact that Victor let Lily go, and she talks to Dorian, and like, oh, that's it. I'm just going to walk off and do my own thing. Whatever. And Dracula didn't get killed. He's still alive. He just zoomed out of there. That's it. We had all this build up to kill Dracula, and then just, nope. That's it. Ness is dead. Show's over. Good run, guys. Bye-bye. It's like, what the hell? And the stuff with the creature. He's my favorite character in this entire show. He is amazing. The actor that plays him, too, is incredible. I've been wowed by his performance so many times. And I felt so bad for his character. It's the kind of character I love, who does bad things but feels regret after them, who sees such a monstrous side of himself, who's poetic. He finally finds his family, but he loses his son, and now his wife doesn't want to see him back unless his son is revived, and he doesn't want to put his son through what he's been through. And you're telling me that when he finally finds happiness, he can't find it. No, he's back to a square one where he was at the beginning. He gets no chance for having a happy life. No chance to finally being staying with his wife, the only, the only woman in the show who really seemed to accept him. I mean, well, Vanessa did, obviously, but I mean, except him also, like, romantically. <sighs> and the stuff with Dr. Seward being possibly being a reincarnation of Jim Clayton. Like, that never went anywhere. It's just, oh, referenced, like, oh, okay, you're a reincarnation, but that's about it. I was expecting maybe she would have some powers, like, inherited from Joan or something like that, but nope, just whatever. And... <sighs> I'm so livid. I'm I'm so livid because I have so much love for this show. Like I have never loved the show more than this. Like last last year when I was watching Game of Thrones, I would watch an episode, be severely disappointed or upset, and then I'd turn on Penny Dreadful, and I would be so stoked for the next episode after it was finished. I couldn't get enough. Season two is by 
far the best season in the entire show, and it's incredible. I, it's it's unbelievable. And yet to end it like this, I don't. It's not just the fact that it it ended way too soon. It was way too abrupt, way too rushed. It wasn't earned. It didn't feel earned. It didn't feel like this. And also that it didn't help the fact that no nobody had any clue that this was even coming, that the entire series would end like this. I mean, you know, if just the, if this was just the end of a season, then fine. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit rushed. It's very sad losing a major character like this. But you know what? There's still plenty more to go with it. You don't end the entire series this way. Penny Dreadful. This last season has been such a whirlwind that nobody had any time to breathe in between all this stuff. At least with the second season, there was plenty of build-up, plenty of emotion and tension and interaction between all the characters together, so it felt more earned when the season ended the way they did, the way it did with all of them splitting up. The fact that they were all split up in this season only to come together, only for it to break apart again, and then just end like that, bye guys, it's like, what? That is incredibly unsatisfying. Like, I've seen good shows end on a good note. I've watched um, Leverage. Um, that ended a few years ago. Actually, maybe probably even longer than that. I don't remember exactly when it ended. But it ended on the way that the, um, the original writers wanted it to. And it, yeah, it was a little bit sooner than I would have liked. But I felt like it earned it. It's still, even though it was a little sooner than I wished it could have been, and not all my answers like all my questions were answered the majority of them were and it, it it felt complete it felt cohesive felt like a like a satisfying ending with all the characters interlocking all the stories tying together and finishing up with penny dreadful all the characters are still nothing's been resolved nothing felt cohesive or working together in terms of storylines like there there are good writers in this show there are amazing people working on penny dreadful you gotta like weave these things together, make it masterful. You've done things in this show that I never would have expected. Like I watch, I've watched shows where you've been able to predict things so easily. Penny Dreadful has not been one of them, and but this, this is unpredictable in the way of being rushed, in the way of being like sloppy almost, and that's not like the show at all. I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad because this show is better than that. It's so much better than that. And I hold it to a higher standard than I do any other show because it is incredible. <sighs> Penny Dreadful deserves better than that. I mean, if, if we end up getting another season, then that's one thing, but if it ends like that, then no. For such an incredible show to end on such... A sloppy note is appalling and horrible. It's just for a show that I love so much has become my favorite TV show of all time to end on such a note. It's it's more heartbreaking than watching Vanessa die. That's how bad it is. That that something that started so good and sustained itself for two seasons so good, hell, even three seasons for so good, to end like that. That's shocking to me. It doesn't make sense. I'm just... I'm going to keep repeating myself if I keep on going. I just wanted to get this out there because I, none of my friends have watched it yet and I just needed to rant about this somehow.